Hey, how do you doodly do? In this episode we will do another photo shoot with Ine in her blue beach dress, and I will abandon ship to save the world from a nasty watermelon. We then sit down together and talk about our time together on Mermaid. This video is available in an extended version for my supporters on Patreon and my channel members. If you want to support the making of these videos, you may join the channel members area here on YouTube, or head on over to patreon.com slash sailmermaid. Please also leave comments, likes and subscribe as that helps me out a lot. Okay, let's do this. Six knots! Six knots! Six knots! You're killing it! Oh yeah! Watermelons in season this time of year. I must admit, it's not easy to make entertaining sailing videos when you have no wind, and it's not easy to travel around and explore by sailboat without motoring when you have no wind. On top of that, I had a hard drive failure and lost a lot of video footage from the last days Ian and Marcus was with me. We got Mermaid hauled out and put on the hard on the boatyard. So let's jump right up to the exit interview with them. But first, enjoy this photo shoot with Ine.
Okay, Ina and Marcus. Yes. Yeah. Now you guys have been on this boat with me for almost two weeks. Tomorrow it's two weeks. And you're ready to go home. Not really. Not really, no. <laughs> no. No. How's it been? It's been amazing. It's been a, an, uh, an awesome experience. Um, a little bit of uh, small regrets, but uh, overall, a very, very good experience. Okay. What kind of regrets do you have? Well, uh, that we didn't get to experience a little bit more. I mean, that is kind of a little bit on us. Since uh, you kind of felt like uh, we weren't that into it when we were. So I think it was like a little communication flaw there. Uh, miscommunication yeah, between mis us. Yeah, yes. miscommunication between us. And, mm -hmm. and I think that once we figured it out and, and stuff like that, then the days that we had after that were amazing. And I kind of wish that that was it was that way from the start yeah because like, like if it was that way from the start i think that we would have experienced a lot more and been on more islands and, and yeah. ha had a better time together all yes. in all yeah um what i i think for me i have been sailing with uh, people before who have been very much into sailing and for marcus and for ina sailing is a totally new experience they didn't know anything about it, never been on a sailboat before, and uh, so they didn't really know what I expected from them either. And uh, I maybe I didn't communicate this as well as I could. So, but I think after we had a little blowout, things got very good. Yeah, I 100% I agree. Like yeah. it, everything became more enjoyable, and mm. and uh, we also would put in our what we what we felt like we wanted to do and and then you would mm. say what you wanted to do and then we kind of came to an agreement on what we ended up doing that day yeah. and yeah that's that's one of the things that i wish that we had from the start yeah because it would have made it this trip just 10 times better i would say okay but if we go back to the start uh ina you and me we met uh, through an ad that i put it out in a, in a, a norwegian by cell site uh, named finn and and then uh we planned this trip together yeah. and it, it was only me and you and then something happened. What happened to you? Well, I got pregnant. <laughs> oh, bummer. <laughs> Shoot. <laughs> so, then you wanted naturally to have Marcus with you on this trip. Yeah, he wouldn't let me yeah. leave alone. Yeah, I can understand that and uh, we were so far in the process. You had bought the tickets and everything, so yeah, Marcus could come. Uh, from the start I was not very keen on having a couple on the boat, but uh, it's worked out pretty well. That's good, good for us to hear, to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what were your expectations before you came on this trip? I don't really know. I was kind of freaked out, because when, th when things get weird, for me it gets really weird. But it's, if it's fun, it's super fun. And yeah. I'm so relieved that it, it was fun and nothing weird or awkward about it. Yeah. I I knew it was going to be awesome no matter what. Yeah. I have a different thought process. My thought process is just that, okay, I'll... We didn't know you, but I was like, okay, I get along with most people. So for me, I wasn't afraid that we wouldn't get along at, yeah. at all uh, at any time. So I was just looking forward to the trip and being able to go somewhere I have never been before. Yeah. And we didn't even search up. Yeah we, yeah, we didn't look up anything. We had no idea. We were totally clueless. When he wrote, he wrote to us that uh, we would go to Acropolis. Yeah. We had no idea what it was. I guessed it was a restaurant, and <laughs> she guessed. What did she guess? What is it called? The arena? Yeah. Yeah. Like a mm. like gladiator arena. Yeah. That thing. We had no idea what we were, what we were in for. I was completely wrong. Uh, <laughs> a restaurant? That was, so, that was not a restaurant. Yeah. Well, cool. So you have experienced new things, but Marcus, you've been around uh, a while. Um, you, you are originally American. Yeah. As we can hear when you speak, you speak very Americanish. <laughs> yeah, Americanish. <laughs> Americanish. Americanish. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Uh, and you've been living also in Australia. I lived there for two years. Yeah. Um, from '98 to at the end of '99, mm. and then we moved back to uh, 
Norway, actually. Yeah. So you've been uh, in Norway since. Yeah, I've yeah. been in Norway since. Yeah. And Ine, you have never been traveling further than s within Scandinavia before. No, Is that never. Right? Or you've been to Germany, maybe? Germany, yeah. and I've been to Denmark. Denmark, yeah. So this is the first time you're going to one of the Mediterranean countries. Yep. Yeah. Mine, mine too. Mine too. I, I've oh. never like I've been to Russia. I've been to Poland. I've been to a lot of places. I've been to U.S. Yeah. Australia, but I've never been to anyway anywhere like this. Okay. Never. Okay. So this is this was the first time for me too. So let me ask you, what will you remember most about Greece when you come back? Oh, that's a hard one. Um, Yesterday's pizza. Yes. <laughs> Maybe not yesterday's pizza and, and... I got one slice left. <laughs> now I'm happy. I think... I think the cars. The cars, for sure. Far. The people. Not, not even the waves. The going to the toilet and have to pump it every time. Oh, that's the boat. That's not Greece. Yeah, but it's kind of a part of Greece for me. Yeah. Because, I mean, I've never it's... been in a sailboat and I've never been to Greece. So it's kind of the same thing. Mm -hmm. Um, oh, the water, the ocean that is so warm, and the sun, hmm. the beaches. Mm, I think the most memorable, memorable moment for me would be possible. <laughs> Sad part is uh, it's the paddle boat, <laughs> a paddle board that we lost. Hmm. That that's gonna always gonna be in my, in my mind. Like every single time I think Greece, Athens, I would be like, oh, we lost that paddle board for three three point five uh, okay kroner. And uh, I guess it's got to be um, when we took that long trip. I hope that you get that in the video. The long trip where we had no idea where we were, but we just kept on walking. You and Nina. Yeah. 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 I wish you were there. You, you, yeah. you would have enjoyed it as well, I think. Um, uh, maybe, maybe not. Walking. The, okay, maybe I don't not know. The, if, he had, if he had one of the, the, the electrical scooters, I, I think he would have enjoyed it. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, then yeah. he would have enjoyed it. And but, I was uh, running after it. <laughs> <laughs> trying to keep up, yeah. I think, uh, I think you would enjoy that. Uh, what else? And of course, you. Me? Yeah. yeah. I, well, I hope I have taught you a couple of things about nutrition and such. Yeah, nutrition. Water is poison. <laughs> um, always order two or three Cokes. <laughs> <laughs> Oh my god. Thank you very big. Yeah, thank you very big. Uh, <laughs> no, that's a good one as well. So yeah, I think the most memorable point for me will be you, actually. Oh. Now that I think about it. Thank you very much. Yeah, well, that'll be the, the memory, like the, the time mm. we went with Roger on his boat to yeah. Athens. But I was a little bit sad also because on the first uh, um, first days we were together, first week we were together, uh, we actually didn't have any sailwind. We didn't get to sail anything at all, almost. But then it turned the cup, last couple of days, so I finally had them sailing my boat and they were steering and they were trying to catch the wind and they could try under my guidance, they could try to, to work on the boat. How do you think about that? I thought that was amazing. Yeah. I, I, as I said, uh, when we had our little blowout, I didn't really assume that we were going to get to a do that after we lost the paddle board because I kind of felt like I wouldn't trust them if they couldn't even <laughs> my boat if they couldn't even tie tie the paddle board to the yeah. boat so that's why I kind of refrained I wanted to ask but I just thought it was kind of like ah maybe don't ask when you lost something and yeah you, mm. could, you just you didn't tie it you guys were we were standing right beside it taking our shower and then just forgot completely yeah. Yeah, it was just, like I just kind of felt we're like stupid. no, they were yeah. stupid. It is a stupid mistake, but you're not boat people, and uh, you are, you, you yeah, haven't been me, much on a boat me, before. I mean, that, that seemed kind of simple. It was, like, yeah. it was so simple, and it, it was just like okay. Well. But it is it is a mistake, and the mistake has been made, and it's too late to change. So it doesn't help you guys beating yourself up about it. True, I'm still beating myself. Up. <laughs> me too. <laughs> but yeah. All in all, like I really, really, really enjoyed learning how to how to put up the sails and, and uh, the what speed the different ropes did, up. and as the speed went up, just seeing the boat <laughs> yeah. go, and then just and we just got more and more excited. Yeah, yeah, it was a kind of fun watching them uh, sailing, and uh, we we had we didn't have much wind. We sailed for two or three knots. That was what we got, and then suddenly wind came, 
and they managed to catch it. 6.8. She, she got a 6.8. She got 6.8. I got a six point five. Yeah, but so that but that was trying. That was when you told me to sail in one direction, and, and I kind of got caught up in trying to beat her, and then I got the six point five. And you're like, you're going in the wrong direction. You're supposed to be up there. And then we looked at the map, and then I was like, in in the <laughs> light blue where I shouldn't be at all. And you're like, dude, you're not supposed to be here. We, you don't know the rocks. Everything is a competition between us. Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Well, we still had control. I was uh, supervising, so uh, yeah. We yeah. had one point where you were pretty lucky, where, where I was sailing and you looked at the map and you saw there was actually a rock, that, but we had sailed past it. Yeah, we had some distance to this rock, I would say about 50 meters, but the point was we didn't know about yeah. this rock until after we passed it. Yep. Yeah. That would have sucked. That yeah. Would've, that that would have really sucked. Yeah. But I also made a mistake on this trip. Uh, for the first time, I have been touching ground with this boat. Uh, just slightly. It wasn't much, we didn't have any speed, there was no wind, but we were going on shallow waters because we wanted to explore a little bit and uh, I touched <laughs> ground. Yeah, but that was not your fault because that was really random. It just it went from really deep and to just like shallow and then deep again. In like yeah, two it did. seconds. It was a split second, boom. Yeah. And then out and I was like, what? But it happened and it was my mistake and my watch. Yeah, that's true. That's true. It was, yeah. on, it was on his watch, not us. Yeah. We didn't do that. <laughs> almost hit a rock though, but... So. Yeah. So what are your plans for you guys now when you come back to Norway? We're gonna move. We're moving. It's like as soon as we uh, we get back home, we're, we're uh, fixing our apartment, packing everything down, and then uh, then moving to another mm. place. And uh, I want to actually... See, I've been kind of shut in. Like I, I like sitting in front of my computer a lot, but this trip has kind of taught me that I actually enjoy traveling more than I actually really thought hmm. but I, and I think most of it is because I like when I've been traveling it's mostly been with it hasn't been by myself like it hasn't been it's always been somebody else that that'll, that'll like if something messed up happens they'll hmm. fix it it's never been just me like okay if I if I get lost here like I'm pretty much on my own even though I could call you but at the same time it's just like a different feeling to travel without like your parents or hmm. or Anybody, or your yeah. parents, or your or parents, or your, you know, so. <laughs> and your girlfriend. Yeah, uh, be this with is my the girlfriend. first time That's, together, except yeah. from Denmark. Yeah, yeah this is the, our first proper trip, and uh, for me, it's been a real joy to mm. uh, to get to experience mm. a, a new country and uh, new things and and learning stuff and having a little, little competitions that we have, like trying to do the knots and yeah. Uh, trying to hit the highest speeds and mm. which one is sailing the best and the other. So, so it's, it's been really, really, really fun and a great experience for uh, for mm. us and I think it's going to help our relationship a lot as well. Super. I must say that one of the things that I enjoy the most about having people on my boat, I, people on YouTube have been saying that, oh, you should get experienced sailors. Why do you keep bringing people to your boat that has no previous experience? Well, the thing is, what I enjoy the most is teaching you guys how to tie a knot and how to sail the boat. For me, that's fun. Yeah, I like you're that. really good at it. Yeah, you're actually really good at it. Yeah. I, I, oh, thank you. I, we, we've talked about it when you haven't been there, but we're like, you're actually really, you're really good at teaching, like giving away the knowledge. Like you, 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 you mansplaining. Yeah, mansplaining. I'm perfectly mansplaining. Yeah. <laughs> so, so yeah, for me it was like, like I, I have ADHD and, and sometimes I have difficulties learning various things, but. You, you have the patience and, and you took the time and, and maybe repeat things over and over and, mm. and ask me questions and then got me kind of into it because normally you could ask me some questions and then, uh, and then if, you don't, if you don't say it in a, in a good enough way or it confuses me or, or something like that and you don't keep on asking, I'll just fall out and then I'll, I won't remember anything. You, you'll get a little bit of uh, my concentration but not fully. Mm. And you got my concentration fully good that's super and Ina how is the mermaid experience oh you comfortable can, can being you on the camera oh I am yeah yeah and because you were coming on here as a mermaid as a kind of a flagship for for the YouTube channel and everything yeah, yeah. I thought it might be a bit awkward but it wasn't at all no no I mean everything was Perfect, actually, and being a mermaid is like being a queen. You can get a tan, you get good food, but you have to do the dishes. It's worth it. 
<laughs> yeah. And now it's back home to Chile, Norway to start a family. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's gonna be amazing. <sighs> yeah. Okay, thank you guys very much for sailing with me for two weeks now and uh, all thank the best you. for the future. No, thank you. Uh, all the best with having a new family of your own and everything you do. Thank you so much. Yes. Thank you, it was amazing. I want to congratulate Ina and Marcus with their beautiful baby daughter. Unfortunately, this was the last episode with them, as the rest of my footage with them was corrupted by a hard drive failure. Mermaid is now on the hard, and in the next episode I will get expert help with maintenance by my friends Eddie and Hilde, so make sure you check back then. As always, I want to thank everybody who supports my channel by liking my videos and even better commenting on them, and subscribing to my channel. That means a lot. I also want to thank everybody who financially supports the making of these videos, especially my gold supporters Bob Herzog, Harvey Engwert and Maureen. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.